wanted to make a video about more of all day together. So Justin goes to work most days, Monday through Friday. Sometimes I get to use the car and sometimes not. We have one car, so if I wanna use the car, I have to wake up at about 5.45 and get out the door by 6.30 with the baby as well. Those days aren't every day because it just takes a lot of work. She likes to get fed first thing in the morning and then we have to drive about half an hour to get to work for Justin and drop him off and then if we wanted to come back we have to drive another half hour or we could be out for the day which generally is what we do but when we're not out for the day I'm kind of here on the farm it would take probably over an hour and a half maybe to walk into town and the roads are not really very walking friendly so we generally stay here on the farm and we keep ourselves occupied both inside the bus and outside the bus generally we tend to wake up but she gets fed in the bed throughout the night as well as like in the morning and we just kind of like hang out and snuggle and wake up together eventually we will get out of bed and she'll need her diaper changed and i will set her up in her bassinet so that i can make the bed after I get done making the bed, it's kind of like a yoga, stretch, wake up time. I try and take time for myself just briefly, even if she's awake, to let her kind of have her own private time as well. I want to have a relationship with her that's both attachment but also where she can be independent and have her time on her own. So I try and let her be independent and enjoy just being in her own space without us constantly having to be around her so that she can learn that. We let her kind of hang out in her crib for a bit, and swing her around, hang out with her, come into the living room area and I normally do some morning yoga. <laughs> Since my surgery I have only done it a few times now and I'm really trying to get into it in a really easy slow moving momentum I am doing more stretching and less muscle building as of right now and so my flow is much more about stretching and movement and twisting and rotating and getting my body into these positions that I haven't really been able to get into for the longest time because of the surgery. So she spends time with me on the mat and eventually when she can like move and walk and all that kind of stuff, I would love for her to be able to do stuff with me on the mat and we can be active together. And that's also something I wanna be able to teach her that she needs to be moving her body and like flexing and all that kind of stuff generally i eat breakfast i i'm kind of a weird breakfast eater let's just say that i eat my meals kind of out of order i like a heavier meal in the morning that holds me through until lunch and then i tend to have smoothies for lunch or smoothie bowls for lunch and that's kind of how i roll and so i have breakfast and we kind of hang out together she has breakfast we tend to eat together so once we get set up for the day i like to take time to get the house straightened up generally we don't always have time the night before to get things done like doing the dishes or sweeping and all that kind of stuff and living here on the farm especially since you saw how swampy it is outside we tend to track in a lot of mud and then the cats like to be messy when they eat and so getting the whole house straightened up and swept is also something that I like to get done so that when Justin comes home from work it's nice and clean and the space just feels fresh. I like to maybe reorganize some stuff. The bus is also an ever-evolving space until it's completely finished there's things that we like about the design things we don't like about the design and if you're curious about more of that we can make a whole nother video but just let us know in the comments below so yeah redesigning the space and like moving some things around seeing what works seeing what doesn't work that's kind of also something that we do to keep ourselves occupied not every day granted but like some days when she's resting and I have some time and I'm like, this is really bugging me, I'll move it. I also like to get some cooking done, so like a meal for the next few days for me. Um, Justin and I have very different diets and so like I tend to cook more for myself and he'll take some from it if he wants to, but I don't really always eat what he eats. So there's that, so I tend to cook something for us to eat every now and again. So tonight I'm gonna be making a lentil curry so at some point through the day, I tend to be going stir crazy, she tends to be going stir crazy. She takes a mid-morning nap around 9 or 10. Once she wakes up from her nap and I'm 
done cleaning and all that good stuff we tend to both be going stir crazy a little bit and so it's a really good time especially right now in winter we haven't really been getting out of the house super early but it's a really good time to get out the house every day we try and get out the house I worked at a preschool for three years and the kids would go outside no matter the weather every day and I thought that was a really awesome habit to instill because in daily life whether it's raining snowing what have you as an adult we have to keep going about life and going to work and making phone calls and sending emails and visiting family and getting out the house and driving and walking and all that kind of stuff so I think it's a really good habit to instill that no matter the weather we go outside today we'll probably be going for just a short walk just down the road to the honeysuckle tea house which is an amazing space if you're ever here in this North Carolina area they're considered a farm stand and so they're not open all through the year. They're closed during the winter months, but come spring, summer and fall, it's a really, really awesome place to hang out. It's where actually I had my blessing way. So if you ever saw that video, I will link it wherever that link comes up so that you can look back at the space whenever it's in action. Walks are really treasured for both of us. She loves going outside. I put her in the wrap most of the time and we go for our walks down the way and back. By then it's pretty cold and we're ready to be back inside the bus. When we're back inside the bus, normally when she's in her wrap, she's really good at resting and she likes looking around. And by the time we get back to the bus, she's either ready to rest some more or she's kind of in the mood to just like hang out and be played with. At that point, it's a really good time for me to work on my business and stuff. I do my drawing while she hangs out. She's doing her thing. I'm doing my thing. Sometimes I have some emails to get done. Sometimes I have product that I need to take pictures of from my website. So right now I've been working on putting together an apothecary box. So that has a candle diffuser, herbal perfume, moon dust, which is like a shimmery foundation with all natural clay powder, the new moon bath salt, and a lip balm. I generally set things up just on the counter. Pretty much for everything that I do for my business has a very like wood theme and so it's very uh, fitting for me to just work straight on the counter. When I'm working directly on the counter I have a nice background and now I have these really amazing Spanish tiles as a backdrop. I tend to just like pick and pull plants from around the bus that we have set it up and take pictures and move things around and then once I've got the pictures done I then send them to my laptop and work on editing and uploading them onto the website and getting emails on my MailChimp um, scheduled and all kinds of business stuff so there's that if you want to see more of a day in the life of running that business portion of things then I'm happy to also make a video about that we are really excited to start transitioning kind of away from the bus build and conversion and more every day we've just been getting excited about what videos we can make and like what you guys would want to see and what content we want to put out just let us know we always love to hear from you guys what you want to see more of generally justin is home by like 4 or 4 30 so by then you know it's probably sometime in the afternoon he gets home and we just kind of all hang out as a family we read books together we watch movies together we cook food together we talk about life so much talk about life right now so yeah by then it's kind of like if the day of just us two is over that's pretty much our day together just the two of us azalea and judy she's a really awesome baby and i'm really grateful so that's a day in the life here on our bus in the form or in the bus on the form just you know hanging out just mom and baby until we hit the road well, that's kind of like our routine so yeah hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to subscribe like comment all that good stuff share it um, and let me know what you do with your baby in a day because I love hearing about other people's days as a mom and if you know you're doing something that I'm not doing that sounds interesting that maybe we would want to try I would love to know about it so just yeah share it and let me know what you do in a day and we will catch you next week